in this uh, tutorial uh, we are going to work on uh, plug flow packed bed reactors we will see how we design and simulate our packed bed uh, reactor uh, in HISIS. in particularly we are looking for isothermal uh, reactor and uh, a comparison of this with the adiabatic reactor in HISIS. so this is the tutorial for term 7 students uh, in process engineering at Mumbai university So because it is a pack bed uh, reactor and we are uh, using it in a plug flow this is called plug flow packed bed reactor pfpbr so it is saying that uh, styrene is made from the dehydration of ethyl benzene in a packed bed reactor so this is my ethyl benzene and this is my styrene and this is my hydrogen the feed uh, consists of 217.5 mole per second of ethyl benzene, 2610 mole per second of inert uh, steam. The reaction is uh, isothermal and in vapor phase. The temperature is 880 Kelvin and 1.378 bar. The reaction rate is uh, the first order with respect to the ethyl benzene. The volume of the reactor is given to you. The length of the tube is given and the void fraction of 0 0.445 is given. Just keep in mind if we have the packing in a reactor, then uh, we must have the value of the void fraction which should be less than 1. If there is no packing in a reactor, then the void fraction value will be 1. So in this case, uh, we have 0 0.445, which means we are using the packing inside the reactor and that is why it is called as a packed bed reactor. The catalyst uh, particle diameter is given to us and the density is given to us. The value of the A for the reaction rate is given to us and the activation energy is given to us. It is asking what uh, percentage conversion of ethyl benzene will be achieved. So let's go to the HISIS and we will add our components. Our component list, we have ethyl benzene and we have uh, steam and uh, we have styrene and the hydrogen so let's add these components so ethyl benzene is uh, e dash benzene as you can see that uh, i have uh, this ethyl benzene here c8h10 the next is the styrene The next uh, step is uh, the hydrogen and uh, then we have the water as a last which is as a steam so we have four components and the fluid package uh, for this system i'm going to use uh, prsv which is most uh, suitable for this and let's enter the reaction here you click on add click on add reaction this is a kinetic reaction and click on add reaction we can close this and open your reaction here so we have three components uh, ethyl benzene we have styrene and we have a hydrogen just keep in mind my water here is uh, an inert steam so this is why i'm not going to include this uh, in my reaction but i will include that in my simulation so from this uh, equation we can see that ethyl benzene is a reactant so its coefficient is minus one styrene coefficient it should be plus one because it is a product and hydrogen coefficient should be plus one so for ethyl benzene it is minus one this one is the plus one and this one is the plus one yeah. and uh, according to our given information the reaction rate is first order order with respect to ethyl benzene so we can just highlight this so it is first order you just need to make sure it is we have one here and these are all zero and these one should also be zero here and we are working uh, with the partial pressure calculations and as base component make sure ethyl benzene is selected here and in our question it is saying that it is an vapor phase uh, reaction so we can choose our vapor phase from here the base unit uh, is uh, in terms of kilopascal however we need to change the units of the rates which uh, should be in terms of the gram mole 
per liter per second now once we have the units uh, selected we can enter the value so the a is 200.48 this is my a value and this is my activation energy value so the a is 200.48 so my a value is uh, 200.48 and my e value is 91.521 so this is uh, 91.521 kilojoule per kilo mole which is good and hit enter as you can see that uh, HISIS uh, has simulated uh, my reaction here and now I can close this window I just want to mention something if by mistake you have added water here you will never get a balance error zero ISIS will not uh, proceed with your calculation until and unless it has the balance error of zero so this is why the water is uh, not added here so I can close this and now attach it to the fluid package we are ready to move to the next step uh, let's go to the simulation here these days we are doing our plug flow reactors uh, in the lab so just uh, double click on this and now we have the inlet which is uh, feed let's say and in the outlet I would say that product and let's say Q is my energy so as you can see that uh, it has uh, developed uh, my connections here next step we need to provide a reaction set you go to the reaction and select the reaction that you have added already we have attached our reaction here the next is we need to provide the dimension go to the ratings and the question statement so it's saying that volume of the reactor is uh, 160 meter cube so let's enter this information here this is 160 meter cube and the length uh, is the 3 meter this is my next information so I can enter the length here which is uh, 3 meter and uh, our white fraction is 0 0.445 as I mentioned if it is not a packed uh, reactor then you will have the white fraction of 1 but because we are working with a packed bed reactor then we have the value of the void fraction so that is uh, 0 0.445 so we have uh, provided uh, this information to our HISIS and now we need to provide uh, our properties uh, for the particular catalyst that we are using in our system so the catalyst uh, diameter is uh, 0 0.0047 meter so this is uh, 0 0.0047 meter and my particular density is 2146.3 kg per kilo mole so it will be 2146 uh, solid density 2146.3 2146.3 kg per meter cube and uh, in case uh, in this question we don't have uh, what is the material of construction of packing in case you have uh, the material of construction of packing you can simply provide the heat capacity of uh, that material and HISIS will understand what material you have for the packing but for now I will leave it uh, like this the next step is we need to provide uh, what is our input and output uh, conditions so the feed is uh, 217.5 mole per second for ethyl uh, benzene so this is my first information this is 217.5 and this is a mole per second and if you look on uh, this uh, one we have the temperature and pressure given to us for these streams 
so my temperature is 880 kelvin and this is an isothermal uh, reactor so the temperature is 880 kelvin and isothermal reactor so 880 kelvin and uh, this is an isothermal reactor this means to say the reaction of the feed and the product will be same so we will have 880 kelvin here as well and the pressure uh, for the inlet is 1.378 bar 1.378 bar we don't have any information sorry 1.378 it should be the bar we don't have any information available for the pressure of the outlet stream which is okay and now let's go to my composition here in my composition uh, we need to let's click on one here what we need to do because we do have the water available we go to our mole fraction here and let me check this again so we have mole of 783 So we have the 217.5 mole per second. So this is uh, 217.5 uh, mole per second. And for the water, we have the value of uh, 2610 mole per second. 2610. So this is uh, 2610. This is the mole per second. And then we can just click on normalize here. It should make it zero here. So this is our total kilo mole and now press OK. And before I move to the next uh, step, uh, I just want to mention you that we don't have uh, in our uh, worksheet, if you go to the conditions here, we don't have uh, any flow available for our products here. The last step is you go to the design, go to the parameter and the delta P in our case is zero and you press enter. Now HiSys has simulated my plug flow reactor. So I can just double click on this and uh, go to the reaction tab, go to the result tab. So this is my percentage conversion which is 90 point. 0, 09 and this is what uh, was required the question was asking what uh, percentage conversion of the ethyl benzene will be achieved so we are achieving a 90.09 percentage conversion if you want to go further you can click on reaction balance as you can see that 73 kilo mole per hour of ethyl benzene were entering into the reactor out of which 705.4 have been consumed the negative sign indicates consumption the positive sign indicates as a production and uh, or leftover and out of which uh, seven out of uh, 783 77.59 are leftover and these are consumed amount there were no styrene uh, and hydrogen in the start of course because the chemical reaction just started however after the reaction was completed uh, uh, 705.4 kilomole per hour of styrene was formed and 705.4 kilomole per hour of hydrogen was formed. The water was 9396 kilomole per hour at the start and uh, it has the same value. Why? Because the water is inert in our system. As you can see that we have the inert steam here. So this is how we work in the isothermal reactor. Now the same reactors can be converted into a adiabatic reactor. How we do that? As you can see that when you go to the design and go to the parameter. So this is the amount of the duty that your reactor is required in order to maintain the temperature of inlet as 606.9 and the outlet of 606.9. Now if we want to make uh, this reactor as an adiabatic, what we need to do, the same procedure as I have been doing before, the only change will be, you will come here and delete the product temperature in case of adiabatic. So I am deleting this uh, temperature, hitting enter and you go to the design tab and over the duty you just hit zero because in case of the adiabatic uh, there is no change in the Q value of uh, the reactor. 
So I just enter 0 in the duty and hit uh, enter and now you can see that Hysis has simulated this reactor again from isothermal to this reaction has been converted into an adiabatic reactor and again if you go to the worksheet here you will see that there is a difference in the temperature this is no more an isothermal reactor why because the feed temperature is different than the product temperature so now the product temperature in case of adiabatic uh, plug flow reactor is uh, 510.4 degrees celsius is the product temperature and uh, with the value of the zero duty this reactor ha has been converted into a adiabatic reactor so this is the major difference if we go to the reactions uh, we can see how much is the reactant as you can see that this uh, re actual uh, reaction conversion has been dropped to 59.67 so this means to say for our given system adiabatic reaction reactor is not a suitable reactor why because uh, our uh, conversion was almost 90 percent in isothermal uh, reactor which has been dropped to 59.67 percent in case of adiabatic uh, reactor so for isothermal reactor we are achieving more uh, conversion as compared to an adiabatic reactor so this is how you work uh, and convert uh, isothermal reactor into an adiabatic reactor i can also convert this back to my isothermal reactor what i need to do i need to go to the design tab go to the parameter and delete this duty hit enter and then i will go to my worksheet here and enter the 606.9 the same temperature as for the feed because now i'm going to convert this adiabatic reactor into isothermal reactor i hit enter here and now hysis has simulated as a result i can see that i have some duty provided in my duty section of the reactor so this is how we work in isothermal and adiabatic uh, plug flow packed bagged reactor so i hope uh, this helps so if you have any questions uh, you can email me or you can see me in my office thank you